Douglas County School District will not be releasing names of teachers who called out sick two weeks ago. Many of those call outs were part of a protest over the firing of Superintendent Corey Wise. Conservative leaders in the community, including former District Attorney George Brockler, called for those teachers' names to be made public. And last night, the district warned teachers that they were about to be outed by name. But then tonight, the school board suddenly announced that open records request for the names had been withdrawn. We should note, new requests for those records could be filed at any time. Also tonight, the board president decried these flyers that Doug Hoat teachers say they found on their cars this morning. The flyers directed pro-union teachers to leave the district. Nine News has not been able to independently verify claims about the origin of the flyers. Douglas County's conservative majority school board is trying to replace the superintendent they fired and do it quickly. They're hoping to get final candidates in a little more than a week. Nine News reporter Luis De Leon looks at that plan and how the timeline compares to what other districts have done. Let me prove, and if I don't... In a controversial vote earlier this month, the Douglas County School Board voted to fire Superintendent Corey Wise. Nearly two weeks later, the board with a conservative majority wants to get someone new in place quickly, a fast pace that some are for. Frankly, as a recruiter, I can say this is not a job that would be an easy sell right now, and some long drawn out candidate search would, li would likely not yield very fruitful results. And some oppose. Slow down. You need to go slow to go fast. Your CEO job requires that you take time to do it right and search for the best candidate you can. Last time Doug Coe got a new superintendent, they had a different school board makeup and the plan to hire someone was spread out over five months starting in January of last year. They chose the now former superintendent Corey Wise four months into the process. The proposed plan this time, vote on final candidates for the job by February 24th, a week from tomorrow. Another comparison is the search for recent Denver Public School Superintendent Dr. Alex Marrero. DPS separated their hiring process into three phases over eight months. Adding to that, DPS also had a lot of community input in the second phase of their process with 49 meetings and around 7,000 people responding to a survey. Kyle, we heard a variety of opinions in tonight's public comment, but several talked about how they wanted to see that type of input into going into making this decision. And Luis, we heard from a number of community members tonight critical of the board thinking that the decision has already been made. They're convinced that the conservative board is looking to hire Aaron Kane, who's the head of a charter school and an advocate for allowing charter schools to arm teachers and opt out of equity and communicable disease policies. Right. And one of the concerns that we heard if that were to happen from one particular person, they said they were concerned with the amount of students that Kane would be overseeing from 2,500 to about 67,000 when you think of the entire Douglas County School District. Third largest district in the state. Big responsibility. Luis De Leon, thank you.